Hey everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to migrate your Cypress projects to the newest 10.0 release. This release has some exciting new features, most specifically a brand new beautiful and unified UI that makes your experience using Cypress even better. This release also includes component testing, a whole new way to write tests using Cypress. Let's get started. In this example, we are going to upgrade an application that is currently using Cypress version 9.5.4. The first thing we need to do is install the newest version of Cypress by running npm install d Cypress. This will download the newest version of Cypress into our project's node modules folder as a dev dependency. Now that we have the newest version of Cypress installed in our application, let's launch it and begin the migration. Let's open Cypress by running npx Cypress open. You will now be greeted by a Welcome to Cypress 10 window. I recommend taking two minutes to watch this video by Jess Satch, a staff engineer here at Cypress. This video recaps some of the amazing new features you'll find in Cypress 10. Now go ahead and click the Continue to Cypress 10 button. At this point, you are greeted with a migration helper window that will help walk us through the necessary steps to migrate to Cypress 10. The first step, renaming existing specs, will automatically rename and move your existing spec files to conform to the new 10.0 standards. This includes changing the default spec folder from Cypress forward slash integration to the new Cypress forward slash EDE folder. It also includes changing the default spec file extension from filename.spec.extension to the new filename.sci.extension. The table in step one also provides a helpful before and after diff of each of the changes the migrator will make. After you have reviewed these changes, go ahead and click the Rename these specs for me button to continue. The second step automatically renames your existing spec files. Here's why. In 10.0, Cypress now serves different support files for both EDE and component testing. This step essentially renames the EDE support file from Cypress forward slash support forward slash index.js to the new Cypress forward slash support forward slash e2e.js. Once again, you will also see a table with a before and after diff of this change. We can continue to the final step by clicking the rename the support file for me button. Finally, we will migrate our existing Cypress configuration, formerly cypress.json, to the new Cypress configuration of cypress.config.js or TS. This step is a little more detailed in that it not only renames a config file, but also seeds the new config with the corresponding options from the old. Be sure to review the before and after diff in this step to familiarize yourself with the changes that were made. Let's finish up the migration by clicking the Migrate the Configuration for Me button. At this point, you will see a Welcome to Cypress window and that EDE testing has been successfully configured in our project. However, you may also have noticed the option to add component testing. This is one of the exciting new features that ships with Cypress 10. Notice though that this testing type is labeled as not configured. Let's change that now. Before we get started, it's important to note that the 10.0 release of Cypress adds support for the following component testing frameworks. Vue 2 and 3, Vue CLI 2 and 3, Nuxt, as well as React, Create React App, and Next.js. No need to worry though if you don't see your application's framework listed. Cypress is working hard behind the scenes to add additional framework support, including Angular and others in the near future. The first thing we need to do to enable component testing is to pick our front-end framework. Once we've selected the appropriate framework, we are now presented with the bundler or dev server we are using. Once we've selected these two options, simply click the Next Steps button. Next, Cypress takes your answers to the previous two questions and provides the correct dev dependencies that need to be installed in your project. Simply copy the install script provided by the migration guide into your terminal and run. Once all the needed dependencies have been installed in your application, click the Continue button. 
Finally, we are presented with an overview of all the files that will be added to the project. This includes an update to the Cypress config, adding a Cypress forward slash support forward slash component.js file, as well as adding a component index.html file. After reviewing all of the updated files, you can continue by clicking the continue button. Now we need to choose a browser by clicking the browser of our choice and click the Start Component Testing in that browser button. Congratulations! You've successfully migrated your application to the newest version of Cypress, version 10. You also are all set up and ready to begin writing component tests in Cypress, a new way to test components in isolation directly in the browser with Cypress. I hope you enjoyed today's video. But most importantly, we hope you enjoy the new Cypress version 10. Happy testing.